In my previous video, I explained the core concepts in statistics like mean, standard deviation, histogram, CDF, PDF, and normal distribution in a very simple manner. Today, we will be solving two examples using these concepts. A class of 50 students took a math test. The test scores are normally distributed with a mean of 78 and a standard deviation of 10. First question is, what is the probability that a randomly selected student scored above 90 marks? And the other question is, what is the probability that a randomly selected student scored between 70 and 85 marks? Today, I would like to show you how to approach this problem with the visualization feature on Solvely.ai, which makes it easier to visualize and interact with these concepts step by step. Solvely.ai is a study tool that uses interactive graphs to visually present the problem-solving process step by step. Log in to their portal and then go to this AI solver part. And as you can see, we can either upload an image to solve the question or type the question in text. Instead of doing all these calculations manually, just give the problem to them as input and they will provide a nice step-by-step -step solution to any math problem. So, as you can see, how effortlessly they have provided the solution to both of our problems. Look here, in order to find the probability that a randomly selected student scored above, we first calculate the cumulative distribution function CDF at 90, which will tell us how many students scored less than 90 marks. But we need to find the probability of students who scored above 90, and thus, for that, using the CDF value, the probability of scoring above 90 is given by 1 minus CDF at 90 marks. This is because the total probability under any probability distribution curve is always 1, right? Because, say for example, if there are 70% students below 90, then above 90, there will be remaining 30% students, right? So doing the same here gives us around 0.115 or 11.5%. That's not it. Here comes the magic. Most of the AI tools available in the market can do the same, but Solvely.ai offers graphs for the concepts and functions underlying the problem. And we all know that the graphs help students visually understand the concept and the problem. For example, in this case, we can see the CDF of the normal distribution. You can also select and zoom in to a specific portion of the graph, which if we do in this case, we can also see the PDF of the normal distribution for our provided parameters. Isn't this super cool? Solvely.ai allows you to more intuitively understand what P of X less than 90 is by providing a graph, with the graph showing the P of X less than 90 as a colored range, which visually represents the probability of a randomly chosen student scoring less than or equal to 90 marks. Instead of just dealing with numbers and formulas, you can actually see how much of the total distribution falls within this range. Here comes the main part. We can also see how the graph changes when we change parameters, which allows intuitive understanding of the concept. So, if I change the value of the mean and press calculate, boom! Observe how the peak of the PDF shifts. I can also hover on the graph and you can see that the graph is interactive. I can also modify the standard deviation and see how the height of the peak changes. This can help us grasp how the mean and standard deviation impact probability distributions. Now, we move to our next question, where we find the CDF values for both the marks that are 70 and 85, and then subtract them to get the probability of scoring between 70 and 85 marks. This is the same thing I have explained in my previous video on stats. Doing that, we get around 55% of students who scored between 70 and 85 marks. Also, if you are unable to understand any specific concept, just ask Solvely's AI tutor for follow-up questions anytime. Instead of struggling with long calculations, let Solvely.ai make learning faster, easier, 
and more fun. Plus, you can get an exclusive 20% discount if you use my promo code, shown on screen. I will put the link both in the description and in the pinned comment. Do not miss this amazing tool. So good.